Fuzzy Wuzzy. Fuzzy Wuzzy. Look at him. Look, look. Where you at? Fuzz Box, where you at? Fuzzy Wuzzy. Look at you. You all happy and stuff. You too happy. You know that? Don't eat off the ground. Hey, y'all. So, I just want to say that my garden, look, I even have a little piece right here. Now, green pepper is something that I am was highly not feeling good. Hey, Miss Harris, when I eat green pepper, I'm over here, y'all. I'm over here, actually, in my sewing area, and I'm sewing, okay? And all of a sudden... And this is the second surgery that got messed up with me for the week. And I'm trying to get these order out as, and I had to order a $2,500 so surgery. My backup, because the first surgery went out on me and I had to take it into the shop and I got orders that I'm shipping out. And then I decided to use the backup surgery and I got a lot of satin bonnets to go out. And a lot of, you know, I'm also, y'all, I'm going to show you my latest um, um, toilet paper holder that I made with the African um, fabric. It's a toilet paper holder. So that's coming up that I made. But I'm over here in the surgery room and the surgery went out. So I went inside my garden fuzz box. I went inside the garden and I pick a green pepper. Now, <clears throat> I have been buying green pepper for years and I couldn't eat it because my stomach was allergic to green pepper. And I'm going to be honest, yesterday I had a green pepper in the garden. This is straight from my garden on my balcony. And I'm eating it just like this. So I'm watching now not to get the seed in my mouth. Mm-mm-mm. It tastes so good. And I'm not going to lie. It tastes different than when you buy it in the store. When you buy green pepper in the store, this green pepper that I just picked from my balcony, it have a sweet taste to it I have to make sure that the the seed doesn't get in my mouth I probably want to plant the seed again but I've been tearing this green pepper up and I was so allergic to green pepper when I buy it in the store This green pepper, y'all. Y'all better start growing some fruits on your balcony. So I'm able to finish the whole green pepper like it's a like it's a damn fruit. Hey Miss Linda. My surger went out on me, so I had to buy another surger. The backup surger went out. The other surgeon went out, and I got orders to ship, y'all. I mean, this is the ridiculous right now. So I say, let me take a break, because now I'm going to have to try fix this surgeon. Because now all my orders, my other surgeon broke two weeks ago. I had to put it in the shop. And because of COVID, it's like they don't, they let you know that it's going to be off. Hey, Miss Luanda, how you doing? And for some reason, the backup surgeon, because you're always supposed to have a backup surgeon because you got orders to go out. Now the backup surgeon, y'all, giving me problem. So I'm in my the room that I actually do work in. You know, this is my area where I actually do work in. But this green pepper right now from my balcony, y'all better, look, y'all better start growing fruit.
I'm just making sure it doesn't get in my, um, the seed doesn't get in my mouth. But this green pepper tastes so good. And it tastes so sweet. Coming from my balcony. Seems like my dog wants some. Watch him. Watch. Fuzz box, you eating the green pepper? See, look, he eating the green pepper. It tastes so fresh. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. Watch, watch this. <laughs> Even the dog eats the green pepper, right, Fuzzy Wuzzy? You want another piece? You want another piece? I'm not gonna be giving you all of my green pepper now. It tastes so sweet. Come on, here you go. That's it. You're not getting no more. Guys, you guys need to look. When you go to the store, you can't get this at the store. I'm trying to make sure. So what I do, I take the seeds out, because y'all know I'm in my sowing area. So I take the seeds out, and I'm gonna let the seeds dry and save them for next year. See, let the seeds dry, saving the seeds for next year. Okay, save that seed for next year. Look how many seeds that there is. I'm gonna let them dry. I'm gonna put them in a container and let them dry and save the seeds for next year. But this tastes so sweet. So if you have a garden and you do it, and I use organic soil this year to make sure that my fruits and my vegetables comes out really good. So I'm taking all the seeds out, let them dry because I'm gonna save these seeds. I'm gonna dry them out and save them for next year. Sometimes people ask me for seeds too, you know. And I'm gonna finish this. It tastes really good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, he can't have no more. He can't have no more. Mm-hmm. It's amazing. Mm. So I have a whole green pepper. I feel like going to have another one. But I'm not going to be greedy because I need the green pepper to put in my, um, my vegan pasta that I'm making. It's like three more on there. So I'm not going to be greedy. I'm just going to leave it on. Fuzzbox, shut up. Come here. Go drink water. He wants more. Go drink water, because you're going to need water. So the green pepper actually tastes different when you pick it fresh off the tree and then you eat it. Now, if you pick it and then you put it in the refrigerator, it's going to start, you know, getting more hot and hot because of of course the seeds are in there and as you can see i kind of put the seeds down and let the seeds kind of dry i'm going to pick them up because i am sewing today y'all see my sewing stuff is out so i am sewing i'm in my sewing corner this is my sewing corner fuzzbox shut up he's just he's just He gone outside barking at somebody. That's why I only gave him. See, every time he eats fresh vegetables, he over here too much. Every time he eats fresh vegetables. Fuzzbox, what you doing? Who bothering you? Hey, who bothering you? Who bothering you? Huh? Who bothering you? Who bothering you? Come here. 
Who bothering you? Yeah, go finish up your food. That's what you need to do. Hey, who bothering you now? See, th this is what happened when you when you have a little small dog. He think he's 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 the king of all nations when it comes to the dog world. Y'all know small dogs think they they the king. Mm-hmm. They think they the king. Hey. So, um, for those, if you guys are on this page and you order anything from me, I am getting your order out. Um, my serger went out. I had to send it to the repair shop. My most high professional serger. And I have so many orders that I'm shipping out every day. And if you guys order online, even though it say have 10 available, 10 available means I have the fabric to make 10. And sometimes I don't make all of them. Like sometimes I run out. So online it say for the um, garments are made. When you order it, the garments are made at that time. So I had a lot of orders. My serger, I ship orders yesterday. I shipped around 50 orders yesterday. And, you know, I've been trying to ship out orders every day. So it's like a lot of orders going out through the door. And this is actually was my um, hobby job. And my hobby job now turned into a full-time job. And it wasn't supposed to be hobby in the future. It was supposed to be more than just a hobby. But um, it turns into a full-time job. And I have a lot of responsibility like inventory and purchase orders and labeling and um, sewing and packaging and putting cute notes, which I don't do that much, putting cute notes in the packaging because the cute notes is already on your receipt. Also, when you purchase something from me, please look at your receipt because it's a 15% off your next purchase. So please make sure you look at your receipt and um, make sure you are getting your next 15% off. If you like our products, you can buy it again at the 15% off because it shows you on the receipt. And we're always giving discount. If you go to www.sudsandskin.boutique, not .com. Thanks for the sum up. And you can go there. We're still working on the database. If you don't see what you're looking for, then you can go to Etsy. But it's best for you to go to sudsandskin.boutique because we're trying to gain a relationship on our webpage so we can um, have the price drop. Miss Lawanda, you order something? What did you order? What did you order? I hope you didn't order anything like a head bonnet or a head socks because the first, because a, a matter of fact, let me tell you what happened. The detox shampoo, um, your order is already shipped. Your order is already shipped. You should get it um, Saturday, the this Saturday or this Friday. Yeah, for those who order like bonnets, because right now I'm sewing a bonnet, which is a, a pretty popular bonnet that I, a satin bonnet, it's a reversible satin bonnet, and um, the, the serger just went out. Um, this actually, this serger is not the professional serger, this is the backup serger, and the professional serger is over there in the corner, in the cut over here. And the professional serger went out. Um, it's two professional serger I have, and I had to actually bring one um, to the the shop, the repair shop, and they tell me I'm not going to get it until the next five days. Um, so I was like, okay. So I decide to get the industrial serger because it was told to me since I'm doing more work sewing. Cause I got satin bonnets, I got satin pillowcase coming out. 
Um, we also have satin um, and satin and African, um, what you call it, um, tissue holder. So you can put your roll of tissues in like four rolls. We have those in satin coming out. So we have a lot of those products that I'm sewing. So I had to invest $2,500 in a new equipment today, which I am not gonna lie. I had to close my eyes when I pressed the button to order the new industrial machine that is coming in um, this week. I really had to because I know I'm sewing more and more and I'm tired of the machine just not working for me. It's either these regular machines are jamming on me or I oiled it. And I know I'm trying to get as much education as I can. Cause you know, when you buy a machine, you got to get used to it. You got to do so much when it comes to a machine. But now my work, as you can see, and I say, let me take a break and go outside in my garden and grab myself something to eat, which was a green pepper. And it tastes awesome. It doesn't taste peppery. The green pepper didn't taste like it had any pepper. The green pepper was very sweet. Um, it tastes more like a fruit instead of a vegetable. And it doesn't have it, the spice to go with it. And that's the way you're supposed to eat a green pepper. And then I put a little bit because I'm making a vegan taco tonight. I got my taco shell ready with my vegan um, impossible meat. And I'm, this is my first time trying that. So I'm going to try the impossible meat tonight. Uh, for those who are vegan lover, if you ever try the impossible meat and you make burgers or try it even if you're not a vegan lover try it it is so good to make spaghetti if you don't want to eat beef it is really good to make a spaghetti try the impossible meat go to um the whole food store and get the impossible meat it's not the not the beyond burger i don't like the beyond burger i like the impossible meat and i just made some tacos out of it but I'm going to tell you, my mouth is still watering from that green pepper just now. Mm -mm -mm. I'm not going to lie. It's, it's just that, that fresh taste. You just pick it from the garden and you just eat that green pepper. And it's not spicy. It just had this sweet taste. And then I had some tomato that I ate from the garden. So, guys, go out there and get you one pot and grow something because it makes a difference to your health. And it was really, really good knowing that I did that. But anyway, guys, I'm about to go eat my vegan tacos that I just made, cause I just made some vegan tacos. Uh-huh. My dog is, is a mess. Oh, wow, you ate all that food. Shawty, did you just eat all that food? Y'all look. Remember the plate of food? Look, he finished it. <coughs> so with his food, I had put some cherry tomatoes from the garden. I just no some um sweet cherry tomatoes um from the garden. And he had also, of course, you know, he eat he eat vegan fresh food but i also had turkey so he had some turkey he had some broccoli he had some brown rice he got some tomato he got some zucchini cucumber and carrots so he actually finished his food my dog eats better than me don't ask me why, because this dog that I got was supposed to be my mom's. My mom didn't want the dog, so it leave me the responsibility to keep the dog because I purchased the dog, and there go the responsibility. I had to just, um, um, Jennifer, you miss it. You have to go back to the beginning of the video. I just ate a fresh green tomato. 
hey a great um green pepper so the dog just eat the dog is eating better than me okay that's all i'm saying that dog is eating better than me he just had some fresh broccoli from the balcony he just had some green pepper in his food he got some carrots that he just ate he look he eat brussels sprout fresh brussels sprout like come on now he has some turkey and they are raw vegan food but the turkey was not raw i cook his turkey and i dehydrate the turkey and then i put it in a bag and it lasts him a pretty long time so he just look, look y'all he finished his food his plate is done lit okay his plate is done okay my dog plate is done fuzz box where you at look and now he want to go chill because his plate is done look at him now you chilling huh you chilling fuzzy wuzzy you chilling look at here hey he chilling <laughs> so he ate all that food <laughs> girl that dog was supposed to be my mom's dog when i bought the dog but my mom wanted to leave the dog in the house for two days so i didn't have a, a choice it would be like if i was to give somebody else a dog that i already paid all that money for i didn't have a choice more than to take the dog it's an investment so guess what anything i put my money in trust me i'm taking care of it okay anything if i put my money in house furniture car i'm taking care of it it doesn't matter what it is i make sure i take good care of anything i put my money in or anything i put my investment or my time in or on i make sure i take care of it because it's very important that when you invest into anything it could be a relationship it could be your job it could be a house it could be a car make sure anything you invest your time money and consideration in take care of it because when you don't take care of it your investment is gonna be no investment okay look one of my hair is just spiking out okay your investment is gonna be no investment so i learned that if i'm going to take care of something and i'm going to invest my my money in it i'm going to invest my time in it yeah yep he is but he over here eating all my vegan food so that's the main thing with him he over here eating all my vegan food from my garden eat my tomato look at his little ratchet ass ask him what he wearing i kind of sew this fabric over his what's the name for him i sew it over because the old one was getting damaged so i bought a little piece of fabric and sew it over there mm -hmm. he a mess <laughs> that's what he is a mess and he got fuzz box my doggy think he's a human being he a daggone pet like i tell people he ain't nothing more than a pet tell him go sit his little butt down yes i do have blueberries in the um on the balcony but no i was showing people because what i was eating earlier um i was eating i finished it jennifer i finished it but i was here i can i was finishing up i don't eat this part i think that part Mm, quite interesting but I, I didn't eat that part because I thought that part was like you know got uh, the pepper part but I that's what I thought 
but I did eat the rest. I don't know what this part tastes like. It tastes like sponge. Actually, it tastes good. Mm, spongy. Mm, that's have a little it's sweet but now i can taste a little bit of pepper but it's not pepper pepper it just have this little spice but not that spicy taste to it this is a green pepper by the way and i ate the whole green pepper it tastes more like a sweet taste to it um i'm not gonna eat no more of that it's you know that's the spongy part of it mm -hmm. that part I'm not fascinated for but the rest of it I ate the whole green pepper so I was showing how I ate the whole green pepper and it tastes sweet I just pick it from the garden and I put it in my mouth and I ate the whole thing so I'm looking forward to eat another one tomorrow it tastes so good I can eat green pepper from my garden every freaking day. That's how good it is. Great alkaline. You know, green pepper got good alkaline. And it tastes so juicy and it tastes sweet. It's not spicy at all. And it doesn't taste like the pepper when you go in a grocery store and buy the pepper. And you taste the pepper. It doesn't taste like that. It tastes so fresh, so sweet, and so watery. It's just awesome. It's really awesome. So, um, the next time you decide that you want to grow something, grow something on your balcony if you don't have a piece of land. And even when I get, you know, even in a house, you want to also grow your vegetables in grow bag. It's so good when you grow it in grow bag. In the morning when I get up, girl, I'm going to have me another green pepper. I find green, and I got cucumber, so I can grab me a cucumber, grab me a zucchini, grab me a green pepper. The strawberry is coming up, so I can grab me those stuff and get me an orange that I have inside. And guess what? I'll have me a good breakfast in the morning before I go running. So that's what I will do. I wish I had a bigger space where I can have this every morning when I wake up. You hear me? It's good food is good to have. And, you know, that's very important. But, guys, I'm going to try work with this serger. <sighs> Let me go finish my job. <laughs> see you guys later. Thanks for the thumbs up and see you guys later. Let me go finish my job before I give myself a headache.